Welcome to our Communications and Network Security module. In this module, we will discuss Network Access Control, or NAC. We will discuss Advanced Proxy Servers, and we'll also discuss Multimedia Collaboration. Network Access Control, or NAC, is a technological solution that allows us to restrict the devices that connect to our network based on a defined security policy. This technology allows us to only allow devices that comply with our requirements to connect to our network. And it's able to assess all of your endpoints whether they're connecting through the local area network, wireless network, connecting remotely using a VPN or similar technology, and devices on the wide area network. IEEE 802.1x is a standard for port-based network access control. You want to be familiar with the IEEE 802.1x standard because you may see a question on the CISSP exam asking about which IEEE standard relates to network access control or port-based security. When we talk about proxy firewalls or advanced proxy servers, these are also known as application layer firewalls or gateways. These are basically a middleman between two computers that are communicating with each other. These devices will make a copy of the packets that are being transferred between the computers and then evaluate the content. When you're using these devices, there is no direct connection between the inside and the outside of the network. All of the traffic has to go through the application layer firewall. These devices will also hide the source computer's IP address by using network address translation, or NAT, and port address translation, or PAT, which increases security as well. Taking the time to inspect each packet will introduce lag and slow down your network a bit, although most users will not notice this delay. Caching is a feature that allows the recently requested pages to be stored so that when an additional user requests them, it does not have to reach out to the internet to get a copy of the page because a copy is already stored in the firewall itself. This can increase the speed. And also these proxies do log activity, which is very helpful during an incident response or when you're investigating some type of inappropriate behavior. There are several different ways to collaborate on the internet using a variety of multimedia technologies. When we combine these technologies, we typically use internet protocol to transfer some type of data between parties. Teleconferencing is one way to communicate with others on the internet. We can have live, face-to-face -face communications using internet protocol technology, and an example here would be Skype. We can use multicast technology to save bandwidth. If we have encryption technology in place, we must be aware that this could cause unacceptable lag and delay when we're communicating. So typically, quality of service, or QoS, is used to prioritize voice over IP traffic and teleconferencing traffic to make sure that the user has an acceptable experience. We can also use webcams or internet cams, but we want to keep in mind that this is a security risk because it could expose your picture and sound without your consent if you have some type of malicious software on your computer. We can also use instant messaging or chat to send notes back and forth with our coworkers when we're online. These technologies do not often use authentication or encryption technology and often do not have virus scan capabilities, so the user could receive malicious files through the instant messaging. Instant messaging technology is also usually susceptible to sniffing attacks, so it should not be used to transmit sensitive data. This concludes our communications and network security module. Thank you for watching. Thank you.